Hello, in this presentation, we will create an accounts receivable agent report within the QuickBooks Pro 2018. If you've been working along with us, we will be continuing with the Get Great Guitars problem. If not, that's okay. We will be creating an aging report within the software. If you have the backup file, you can restore that by going to the file and uh, open restore. We currently have the open windows open over here by selecting the view and open windows list. You can have that open as well. And we have the company foot tab or company page open found at the company drop down and the home page. We're going to be looking at the AR aging summary. It's going to be a, a crucial report when we're trying to see who owes us money and how past due it is and what kind of collection action we should uh, be doing in order to get uh, any accounts receivable outstanding balances paid. To do that, we're going to go to the reports drop down. We could go to the uh, customers here and locate these reports, but we're going to go from this section to the report center. Report center. I'm going to go ahead and maximize this report over here. We are in the grid format, so we see them in a grid format here. We're looking at a customer report, an AR report, accounts receivable report. Therefore, we're going to be in the customer section. Note that to go to the customer section, we must be in the standard tab rather than the memorized favorites, uh, recent or contributed tab. And then we'll see the customer receivables on the left hand side. Within the customer receivables, the first item is the AR agent report. It's a very important report because it'll give us that indication of what kind of receivables are not going to be possibly collectible or which ones we want to spend most of our time on collecting and we're going to go down here and run this report this report is a balance sheet report and therefore reported as of a point in time therefore only one date the point in time we will run this for is 022821 otherwise known as uh, February 28th 2021 and we'll have a report like this. And the total of this report, this 11,274, this being a subsidiary type report, should match out to our core financial statements, our core reports, those, the balance sheet, and the income statement or profit and loss. This should tie out then to the balance sheet report for accounts receivable. Let's check that out and see if it does. We're going to go to the reports up top. We're going to go to company and financial. We're going to scroll down to the balance sheet. Here's the balance sheet. And we're going to change the date to, once again, 022821. Tabbing over, tabbing across. There's the accounts receivable. So the accounts receivable is 11274 That's how much people owe us. We want to know a few different things about that. Number one, who owes us that money so we can try to collect on it. And how past due is it? so that we know which people we need to concentrate on, which accounts we need to concentrate on more to collect those past due amounts. If we go back here to the AR aging, we have the 11,274. That then is this 11,274 broken out by customer here. Here's the totals by customer. Here are the customers on this side. And we also have it broken out by how old it is. So we have the current portion, these are things that uh, if our terms are like 30 days or not past 30 days, these are past due. So our most important amounts are going to be this one and these. This is kind of a funny item here because what's happening is, is um, we, we had a reversing or a deposit possibly for string music. Uh, we'll talk more about that later. But in any case, uh, then we have the 30 to 60 to 60 to 90, the past due amounts. Nothing in those categories at this point. If they were in that category, then we would be more and more likely to say that this might not be collectible. And at some point, we would have to write that off and say that we're not going to be able to collect those items. We're going to go ahead and export this report to our Excel worksheet for this process. We already have an Excel worksheet that we have been working on. We're going to export this to a current workbook in that case. We're going to go to Excel. We're going to create a new worksheet but then put it to an existing workbook. So we're going to go to an existing workbook, locate that workbook. It's probably going right there right now because we went there last time. Looks like it's in the correct location. That's the one we want. We could then open it or just double click on it and export. 
It's going to open up Excel. It's going to create a new tab for this information, exporting this information to that new tab. Then we will do our normal type of adjustments that including bringing this to the outer column. These are the other worksheets we've done where this is the current sheet. I'm going to grab that and pull it to the right. So we have it over here. And this is going to be an AR aging. And that is going to be that information. Then I'm going to go to the view tab up top, view tab in Excel. We want to go to the windows group and unsplit the screens. So we have unsplit screens, then go down to the view options down at the bottom. We've got the normal view. We've got the page layout view. Selecting page layout view. If we scroll up, there's our header information. It's all printing on one page. So it looks like we are okay with this report. Going back to the normal view. That will be our information. We're going to save this report. And OK. And then close this. And that will be the accounts receivable aging.